Welcome back to the Greenhouse Weeders. I'm Beth Meyer Shanai with the Oregon Department of Agriculture's Noxious Weed Control Program. And I'm here today to introduce you to two more of my noxious weed educational garden specimens. I have a shiny geranium and Herb Robert or Stinky Bob. Both are annuals in the geranium family and very explosively weedy around Western Oregon particularly. These are both listed as bees on our state noxious weed list, which means they're pretty widespread already um, and are probably being uh, worked on most intensively in areas where active habitat restoration is going on. But um, as you can see, there's some interesting color going on between these um, geraniums. There's a lot of red in the leaves. That usually is showing a little later in, um, in the summer or when conditions dry out a little bit where the plants are growing. But once these get started in early spring or sometimes even germinate well and, and get started in the fall, um, they start to immediately go into a cycle of setting flowers, um, going to bud, I mean, I'm sorry, going to a seed capsule and then opening up to produce seed. And even in this one plant, or actually in both of these specimens, you can see kind of examples of all these phases. And they will just continuously keep uh, flowering and setting seed through a long growing season in Oregon, which is why they've been so successful, especially. They just put out so much seed. Um, even my specimen here, well, it looked like I had, I think I, I jostled it around a little too much, but um, this is the shiny geranium and its um, leaf is, it's got some lobes to it. It's, um, it, it's kind of the, almost the kidney shape. Um, the stem is right here in the center part of the leaf and then there are lobes that kind of come out all around it. Um, but it's, it's pretty deeply lobed. Um, but not as lacy as the Herb Robert or Stinky Bob. It, this shiny geranium also has, especially when it's fresh and green and not as much red, quite a shine to the leaves. And if you look up on hillsides that are covered with it, it kind of looks like shiny, pillowy clouds of vegetation. Um, but this one has a small, bright pink flower and the number of flowers on this plant and then kind of this cranes bill seed pod forming. I don't know if you, how well you can see these. I'm gonna pull them up a little bit closer too to see if we can get a little more zoom in on that. And then here we have a couple of spots where some, the pods have opened and seeds have dropped. And earlier today I actually had a few seeds on one of these, so I was hoping to compare one with seeds and one without, but there were four seeds at the base um, by the sepals and they've probably tumbled off. One of the reasons why I really like having these in the greenhouse is that if a few seeds escape, I've got quite a contained environment. I can find any seedlings that might pop up in other pots pretty quickly. Um, but before any of these plants ever go out for educational events, they're definitely pinched back so we just have a few immature pods and flowers to show because we don't want to spread more plants by having our educational plants out here. I'm gonna switch this one over for the Herb Robert and just look how uh, spread out this one has gotten. Some of these plants really love the greenhouse. There's lots of great moisture in here for them. Um, and they kind of show you how, they, how big they can get. There's really only a small spot of attachment at the base of the soil. None of these other branches have really rooted into the soil or anything. This is just one plant. Once it's done for the season, it'll die back. Um, and I'll probably go harvest another new one at the beginning of the season next year to keep my weed specimen going. But um, both geraniums can actually get kind of this big and spread out, but the spreading this way, especially this um, Herb Robert is really well known for that. Um, this one also has a pink flower. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know how well I can get this one to show. Oops, that's not gonna be good. Here, pick a new one. This one, this pink flower is a bit bigger than the one that was on the shiny geranium, but very similar capsules afterwards um, and a lot of extra seed spread. We do see shiny geranium though being a lot more successful at filling in quickly in areas than Herb Robert does. 
Um, maybe they're a little more bushiness to this prevents even more um, exposed soil for other plants to compete. But uh, both very successful. Um, important to get on these early before they start this cycle of flower, seed pod formation, seed set, seed drop, um, because they can just produce so much seed over the season. And uh, likely, if you've had it for a while, there's going to be a pretty good seed bank that will need to be flushed out before you can ever get really good control of these geraniums. So I hope you got something out of this one, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks, and bye-bye.